For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says the ring of negligible size is subjected to a vertical force of 200 pounds, right here. Determine the required length of the cord AC such that the tension in AC is 160 pounds. So telling you that this tension right here is 160 pounds. Also, what is the force of cord uh, AB? So the one, the tension of this cord and then find uh, theta. So, you know that from here, the sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. So, assuming this orientation, x and this for the y, then minus 160 times the cosine of theta, plus AB times the cosine of 40, because if this angle is 40, this angle is also 40 degrees that is equal to 0 so you get that AB is equal to 160 cosine of theta over cosine of 40 let's call this equation 1 then you know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to 0 so 160 sine of theta going up plus AB sine of 40 minus 200 is equal to 0. So when you solve for AB, you get that AB is equal to 200 minus 160 sine of theta all over sine of 40. Let's call this equation 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set equation 1 equal to equation 2 because equation 1 is AB and equation 2 is AB. So you can set them equal to each other. And you get 160 cosine of theta over cosine of 40 is equal to 200 minus 160 sine of theta over sine of 40. So basically you're gonna uh, divide uh, 160 by cosine of 40 and you're gonna get 208.9 cosine of theta is equal to 200 divided by sine of 40 and 160 divided by sine of 40 gives you 311.1 minus 248.9 sine of theta then you got on you know that sine square of theta minus sorry plus cosine square of theta is equal to one so if you solve for cosine of theta you get square root of one minus sine square of theta so i'm going to replace this cosine of theta with this to get 208.9 times the square root of 1 minus sine square of theta is equal to 311.1 minus 248.9 sine of theta. So hope you're following me till here. This is just basic algebra. So basically I'm going to start solving for 0. So on the left, I'm going to have just the 1 minus the sine square of theta. It is equal to, I basically divided the whole right side of the equation by 208.9, and I got 1.489 minus 1.191 sine of theta. So now I square both sides, and I get 1 minus sine square of theta is equal to first one square plus 2. 2 times the first one times the second one plus second one square which means this comes to be 1.420 sine square of theta minus 3.547 sine of theta plus 2.217 so now I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides so that way this cancels out and then 
add sine square of theta to both sides and this is going to cancel out and I'm basically going to get 0 is equal to 2.420 sine square of theta minus 3.547 sine of theta plus 1.217 so now I'm going to say that um, x is equal to sine of theta I'm just going to replace it for a second and I'm going to get that 0 is equal to 2.420x squared minus 3.547x plus 1.217 and now all you got to do is solve for x for that I'm going to use the quadratic equation and I know that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a a is equal to 2.420 b is equal to 3 point actually negative 3.547 and c is equal to 1.217 when you replace them on this equation you're going to get that x is equal either 0.548 or x is equal to 0.918 but you know that x is sine of theta so sine of theta is equal to 0.548 or sine of theta is equal to 0.918 so theta is sine inverse of 0.548 or sine inverse of 0.918 so theta is equal to either 33.2 degrees or theta is equal to 66.6 .6 degrees so I got two different thetas that make sense in this problem so I got two different answers. So if theta is equal to the first case, 33.2 degrees, then the triangle looks something like this. This is 33.2, this is 2, this is 40, and this is the length. So If theta is equal to 33.2, first of all, I can plug it into equation 1, and I get that AB is equal to 174.81 pounds. So you, you get AB right off the bat if theta is 33.2. Now, if you want to find the length, you just use the law of sines. The law of sines says that 2 over the sine of 33.2 is equal to L over the sine of 40. If you solve for L, you get that L is equal to 2.35 feet. So this is the case for theta is equal to 33.2. Now if theta is equal to 66.6 .6 degrees, you plug that into equation 1 and you get that AB is equal to 82.95 pounds and then you redraw your triangle 66 looks a little bit more like that and this is still 40 this is 40 this is 66.6 .6. this is L and this is still 2 so you use the law of sines and you know that the law of sines tells you that 2 over sine of 66.6 .6 is equal to L over sine of 40. You solve for L and you get that the length is equal to 1.4 feet. And this is the final answer for theta being equal to 66.6. .6. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.